and welcome back to IPTA, FF9 edition. In the last episode, we finally reached Kuja's home, or place of residence, I guess, for now. And now, we're going to speak to him again. Hi. Just go to the chase and tell me what the hell you want. My, we're upset, aren't we? Well, this is your errand. I want you to go somewhere and bring something back for me. So, tell me what it is already, you demon. I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Surely you haven't forgotten that I hold your friends' lives in my hands. Ugh! I'm going to send you to a place called Whaleverd. Where's that? Whaleverd is south of the Seaways Canyon on the Forgotten Continent. It really isn't my kind of place. What do you mean by that? You see, there's an anti-magic barrier around the place, and I want to send you because you're too stupid to use magic. Once there, I want you to retrieve the Gulug Stone for me. What do you say? Isn't it a simple task? I'll even send you on my luxury cruise ship so you won't have to worry about transportation. Perhaps it's too much for you. I'd better send you with three of your friends just to be safe. Besides, nobody likes to fight against himself. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. Speak their names when you've chosen your partners. So I can't use magic, you say? In that case, I'll bring these three. Is it that I will save you for a special occasion angle. I promise. Sorry, main three, but I've got to go with physical members for this one. Aunt Rachel, Blurgle, and Blood. Fine, I shall summon them. Rachel! Blurgle! Hmm. Blood. Step through the door. Proceed to the center of the platform. Spare me the emotional reunion scene, please. Now, go stand with your friends. Better keep your promise, Kuja. Of course, you needn't worry one bit. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. Kuja, you son of a bitch. He's gonna kill him as soon as he has a chance. Right then. Let's turn the analog on. We've got lots of stuff to do, including learn all sorts of abilities. Ice lance is the best thing I've got. Yes. Silver fork, pretty good. Okay. Let's go. Got to go for all physical party in this trip. These guys don't even have a thousand health yet. Well, Blurgle doesn't. Everyone else does. We'll be fine. I can't remember. I could have sworn that having only a thousand health on disc 3 was a really, really bad thing. Whatever. It'll be fine. Let's fight some weird things. Like this guy. Die. This is a ogre. I forgot. Blurgle has some new things to eat. But I'll do that on disc 4. I do the ones in the early game when you have to use her. But, um... For now, I'll just do the other ones later on. Ow. Well, I suppose I'll show you Grand Lethal, as soon as I unlocked it. Let's show you what it is. It's the best move he has. If he doesn't die, I'll show you Grand Lethal. Here we go. Consider it the Omni Slash of this game. Just uh, leaving that one out there. That was a whole heap of damage. Mmm, damage. Okay, yeah, so I'll do the rest of Queena's blue magic on disc 4 when I have free reign to do what I want. Whoa! That's the Hildegard. That must be the Hildegard 1. Hello, Black Mage. Go right, mate. I was told not to go any further. Mm. 
Okay, there's just another ogre, don't worry about it. I should hopefully have edited it out if I remember. Come on, Joey, you can remember that. Right, let's go to the Hildegard number one. We don't get to fly it, though, unfortunately. This is the ship that Regent Sid built when he was still a human, so it can fly without mist. Hildegard 2 is coming along nicely, but the problem is it's just going to take a long time with uh, Sid in a fog body. Hey, can we really trust Kuja? Hmm. Hey, can we really trust Kuja? Hmm. Hey, say something! They will not answer to you! Respond to our orders only, they do! But, were you backstabbing bozos? Those are slanderous words! Worst lies I've never heard! You needn't concern yourself with such things. Or an end to your friends' lives we shall bring. Damn it. The Black Mages were originally designed just to oppress, but a strong sense of self the Black Waltzes came to possess. They always obey us, these mages do, because a strong ego they have not. These mass produced ones are to break once we're through with their lot. For the purpose, the more they have not. They have grown attached to life, yet they'll soon disappear. Hilarious, nothing but toys are they here. I don't think you guys are any different. What? Rubbish! You said that the Black Mages have no souls, but you guys are pawns just like them. Am I right or what? You won't be talking so big once we're done with you. Forget those words, you will. Now let's just take it easy until we arrive, eh? Drive safe, alright? Fucking Zorn and Thorn. You used to be just annoying, now you're actually evil. Going over the ice continent. We'll come back here later on. Not important. This is the forgotten continent. This is where we want to be. Okie dokie. Right. Here we are. Forgotten continent on the Blair Surpass Plains. Don't ask me how I said that without. Uh. Tripping over my own words, I don't know. Right, so we need to go to a whale vert, and a whale vert is down here. Right at the bottom of this fucking thing. Which means I need to be able to get down there, then left, then right, then left, then right. It's like a spy, it's like a maze, essentially. And the fights down here are no joke. Okay, so the gimmick with these two is everyone light makes you go in the sky and heavy makes you heavy. So they will use moves that work on some people and not work on others including moves like aero that do way more damage if you're in the sky. But all in all, they're generally just weird. These things. They don't really seem to do much of anything. But, I think if you use heavy on someone who's already on the ground, it hurts you. Also, they keep counter-attacking with things. What are their names? They are the Jabberwocks.
gonna have to die at some point. Maybe these guys are just made to waste your time. Which they do a good job of, if I'm honest. There you go, bye. Ah, here you go. See, Earthquake. It will only hurt people on the floor. And now Queen has tranced. So, you made a real mess of this buddy. So I'm going to cook his face. I think I just counter-attack by doing the opposite of what they already do. In which case is uh, making people light or heavy. Have some cooking. Om nom 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 nom. I know it can't eat until it's weaker. Damn it. Are you gonna die? I hope not. I did about half your health. It's not so bad. Alright, oh, so that's 680 damage. If that doesn't close, close enough to cook you, then I'll try and get blood to hit you for little damage and then go again. Tastes bad. That means it doesn't have a skill for her to learn. That's alright. You also might be wondering, how are you going to heal with no white magic? And that's also a very good question. That one's a little bit harder to answer though. Uh, mainly using potions, and then when I run out of potions, using white wind, or Vase's wind, from uh, Ratchel. That'd be a good time. I can also use Chakra. But Chakra is kind of bad. And it also doesn't heal everyone a one person heal which is good but all party heals are generally better which is also why they cost more typically but here we go I'm gonna go this way okay I can't, I can't make sure I don't do this wrong so I think you go this way let's, let's just have a little gander I think this is right shit Ooh! Another new enemy. I, I like this one quite a lot. It's basically a house. Armstrong, the house. Gonna match your magic here as well. Cannon does half of your health again and again and again. Rhea's wind will heal me for a bit. Won't be a lot, but it'll be enough. It'll give me regen. Matra magic though. Ah, oh, missed. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping it wouldn't miss. It does have other moves than cannon though, so you got to be careful because it will try and kill you at some point. Right, there you go, Thunderer. I did 400 damage, it would have killed the... Uh... Let's use White Wind. It would have killed Blood. So I've got Regen on, I've also got White Wind coming up soon. So that should be okay. I'm gonna Chakra myself to heal. 308, yeah, that's not bad. And then White Wind to heal for how much? For a group heal? 357, that's alright too. Armstrongs have a lot of health. It is a giant house, after all. A house with a gun on it. There we go. And like I said, I don't know how many episodes ago, but I did say we're getting into the territory where enemies are actually dangerous now, so we could die. I don't intend on dying, but we could. Which would not be very helpful. 
considering I don't save all that often at all. Too proud, I guess. Too uh, arrogant to save. I'm like, oh, I don't need to save, I'll be fine. Another new enemy. This is a Catabaplaz. It's not new because we fought it in Traino, but a Catabaplaz uh, can use all sorts of nasty things. It's the creature I had to use an elixir for in Traino. Just to kill it. Just to make sure it was dead. Cato Blapaz, there you go. Cato Blapaz. It's gonna roar. It used its turn to roar at me. And now it's dead. It shouldn't have roared at me. I don't like it when things roar at me. Bug killer, locomotion, eh? Hmm. Yes, splendid, yes. I like it a lot, yes. But Bird had more HP than that. He does have HP plus 30%, so by the time he's level 33, he should have far more HP than I do. Right, it's this way, for sure. We're definitely in the right path. Yep. And then we're going to go over here and get to a whale bird. And we're almost already kind of caught up to where I was in regards to the stream. I'm nearly back where I was. Just another Catoblapaz, so we're all right. Catoblapaz. I keep saying Catoblapai, which isn't English. It's not even a word. Right, this is a whale that. Like I said, we're almost back to where we were on the stream. I'm about two hours away. I would reckon. A whale of that. This dungeon is actually really small. Hey. Mimosa, Mognet. It's so unusual to have visitors. Please deliver mail for me. I want to deliver a letter to Muel. Thanks, Kabo. Mog Shop. Diamond Sword. Trident. Mithril Claws. I need to buy all these things. This is the first time you can actually buy a silver fork in the game. Diamond Gloves, Green Beret. Uh, what else are we missing? Judo Uniform. Mm -hmm. Golden Armor. All the high potions you can give me. Thank you. Right. That's good. And then let's save and end this episode here. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Next time we're going to go to a whale vert and see how that goes. Love you all. Bye.